Welcome to Charmed Life, a radio show discussing spirituality, magic, and the unconditional love of the universe. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm your host, Trisha Carr. Thank you for joining me today. I'm very excited about today's show. And before I do welcome my in-studio guest on to the broadcast with us, I want to just mention to you that we are broadcasting live from the Universal Broadcasting Network Studios in Hollywood, California. And you can watch live every Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific on UBNRadio.com. Just go to Channel One. Or you can watch on any of my social media outlets. So on Facebook by looking for Trisha Carr. Actually, it's slash Trisha Carr Charm for my uh, business page or you can actually join my Facebook group and you can find that by going to facebook.com slash groups slash charmed life love and you can also watch it on Periscope so just look for at Trisha Carr Charm. Additionally I want to say hello to the Lightworkers Lab the online spiritual community of which I am a moderator. You can find the Lightworkers Lab for all kinds of fellowship and resources education for your spiritual development and expression by searching the Lightworkers Lab in the Facebook group section so just go find us we're always doing amazing things in the the lab there's so much going on so much fellowship so much love and light I would love to meet you there and one more thing I want to tell you guys about is that it is the final day for the earlier early bird pricing of my program the six-week coaching program for empowered empaths and highly sensitive intuitives I uh, have offered an early bird price for people who have been interested in working with me and are want to do it in a very dynamic yet cost affordable way so do go sign up or, or at least uh, you know, check it out and see if you're if this aligns with you. And my website is trishacarcharm.com/empath. You can learn all about the program. It's for all types of sensitives. Even if you're a person who doesn't align with the word empath, that is totally fine because it, labels don't always help us. They only help us if they help us. They're tools. They're not. We aren't the tool of it. I have to say. But if you were wanting to turn that sensitive nature into a more powerful spiritual ability, which is what I believe the sensitivity is meant to be, whether you're a creative artist a highly sensitive person or someone who's highly empathic, then do please go check it out. I would love to have you in the program. It's educational and it's also group coaching. It's amazing. All right. With all of that having been said, I want to invite my exciting, beautiful, talented, dynamic, and so heart-centered guest into the studio. She is also on UBN Radio with her own show, and it's uh, she is an intuitive medium, spiritual teacher, author, and radio host. Welcome, Colby Rebel. Oh, hi, Trisha. <laughs> hi. Thank you. Thank you for that warm welcome, too. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to have you here, and you're coming in studio. I love it. Isn't it great when we can actually work in studio together? Oh, I love it. I, I think uh, it really helps enhance and create the energy and experience. Yeah. You know, I think that everything that we've done with social media and and um, connecting remotely is wonderful. I think we're actually reminding ourselves what we can do, yes, spiritually speaking. But you know, we still like bodies. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's just that extra layer. Definitely, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell people about your show first of all, because I know that they would love to if they haven't already heard about your show that they would love to catch it go subscribe like and share Colby's as well oh thank you yeah my show is right here in the same studio every Thursday night at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and uh, some weeks I call it date night with Colby (laughs) and so it is just me taking callers and answering questions and tuning in Uh, a lot of times I have amazing guests like yourself and Um, you know, just the game changers, those out there who are looking to make that change and to help other people tune in and tap in to their own gifts. Yeah, you have a a really great episode where you had Lisa Williams on, who is a mentor of yours. Yes, yes. Uh, You know, uh, (laughs) we call her Mama Bear. But uh, (laughs) yes, Lisa, I had studied with Lisa for many years. And now I'm one of her certified master teachers. And Um, I really had the privilege of studying with some amazing teachers, as I'm Mm -hmm. sure you have as well. And each of them really does give us something or help us learn something new about our gifts that, you know, we may not have otherwise experienced or experienced in the same time frame had Mm -hmm. they not come into our lives. Yes, absolutely. Well, that different perspective, you know, it shakes things up for us. It's really wonderful. Yeah, Lisa really push me. <laughs> I I was, you know, like many people out there, I was 
definitely playing it safe to some mm. degree, without a doubt. And mm. she just was like, what are you doing? Get yeah. out there. You are meant to do this. And oh, that's fantastic. Very, very encouraging. Yes, I, I am forever grateful to her. That's wonderful. And so... What kind uh, now? But you are a master teacher, so what kind of teaching are you doing? Uh, you know, tell tell the audience about that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I help people on many levels. I, I either help them build their own spiritual business because I used to be a tax manager. Oh, so I have a lot of business background, so I I can help in that way or I just help from any level from beginner to advanced um, taking their gifts kind of to what we always say the next level right Mm -hmm. diving in deeper having a stronger connection understanding the signs and symbols around them all of that fun stuff and kind of working at their level that is one thing I really do enjoy so whether it be beginner or advanced I really do enjoy all the the various levels that's fantastic can you tell people how they could find out about those classes before we get more deep into oh yeah all of Colby <laughs> yes uh, some are on my website I have been redoing my my website so my professional Facebook page Colby rebel it's the black studded jacket photo mm-hmm. I love that jacket by it's the cool. way yeah um, but I always post a lot of my classes uh in the event section there just to try to make it easy for people great good all right well i i would love for you to just share some more of your background what's your journey but what has your journey been like and what kind of work are you doing whatever you want to share just to get people oh into thanks Colby. <laughs> yeah you know it's it's interesting when i you know it, i i we always knew i had a kind of a gift as if we want to call it that mm-hmm. um And that started at the age of four when my grandfather came to me. Mm -hmm. And it was just a very clear, vivid memory. Even to this day, it's been very ingrained. Mm -hmm. And I was very fortunate because I think a lot of children have experiences, but there's no adult there to validate it. Mm -hmm. And I just was fortunate enough that my grandfather came to the side of my bed. And then he said, get out of bed and go tell mommy what I said. Oh, wow. And so I did. And I went and I told my mom. And I remember her going, who who said that? And I said, (laughs) Grandpa. And she's like, where's Grandpa? And I was like, oh, he's right in the room, Mommy. And and I I remember kind of this tear coming down her face. And here, you know, we didn't know till later. I have a sister. And my grandfather had died about a week before that. Mm -hmm. But we didn't know because we were young. I was four. So... Um, there was a lot of experiences like that. A lot of my mom catching me talking to make believe friends. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of those things that we hear, but in no way did I, I really ever fathom that, Oh, you're supposed to do this with your life. Like I just thought everybody did it. And and to some degree, I still believe we all can do it. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I uh, had imaginary friends as well, and, and they are my spirit guides now. As I reacquainted with them when I was older and kind of opened up metaphysically or whatever you want to mm-hmm, call it, mm-hmm. and then I met my spirit guides. And then he, then after, you know, starting to build a relationship with them now, they're like, remember this guy? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Yes, yes. All that's awesome. Them. Yeah, all of them have kind of come back in that way that I've, I recommend. And what's interesting, evidentially, too. So one of them I, I called when I was a little kid the name I had for her was little mama okay (laughs) Travis is laughing (laughs) because you heard my texts come out (laughs) so little mama was one of the (laughs) one of my imaginary friends and you know I would cry when my sisters would sit on where little mama was and all that kind of stuff and then um when I was older and I met a spirit guide and she was diminutive and you know long story short she gave me her name and after a couple of months of, of knowing this guide's name, then I went and looked at my ancestry and learned that's the name of my great grandmother. Wow. And yeah, Jarvis, you never heard the story? Okay, good. Then I'm not repeating myself on the show too much. And I didn't know my great grandmother's name, you know, which is my family didn't know that. And then then after a while, I didn't say anything to my mom because, you know, I don't know if, if it's going to weird her out, you know, right. whatever her beliefs are. Right. And so I did, and she gave me her physical description when she was, you know, on the earth. And I asked my mom finally, I said, did you know your grandmother? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I did meet her. I did know her. You know, I was quite young. I said, was she really short? And she's like, oh, she was very short. And see, that's why I called her little mama. Yeah. Or that's oh, what she told me to so call funny. her little mama. Oh, how cute is that? So, um, you, like you said, that you really feel that everyone can do it. And probably every, I mean, certainly everyone is using their spiritual abilities to some degree or another. Yes. I mean, I think that's... 
that's what any kind of creative arts or even oh, yeah. in business when teachers, you're creative. Teachers, yeah. doctors, nurses. I, I mean, sure. most professions, truly. If, yeah. um, truly. I, I think even accountants, to be honest. Of course. I think when you have that kind of feeling about a number being a little off or mm-hmm. something's not right. I mean, that's the intuition right yeah. there. <laughs> and numbers are vibration. Yeah. yeah. So absolutely. I, I like, I like an intuitive accountant because, yeah. you know, get a little bit more tax money back. <laughs> I was, I was real, uh, you know, I always say, you know, again, I, I didn't think I was going to do this work, but I mean, obviously I didn't. Um, so I was, you know, I had a side bookkeeping business, did tax returns, and like just kind of, uh, it's almost, I'm almost out of the audit zone, but none of my clients ever got uh, an audit. Oh, nice. So I was like, <laughs> huh, like I, I guess I was working on some level. Absolutely. Anyway, because I do remember going, oh, that feels a little high. Mm, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> and And so, again, it's so subtle sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's the hard part where people don't understand, um, when their gift is coming in, because really, I think when we talk about stories, some of the stories are so amazing and big and bold, but really it's kind of subtle of how it Uh comes in. The still small voice. Just the little stuff and like a a push or a word or a picture. And, and I think it's just capturing that and knowing that and and being able to understand what you're getting and saying yes to it oh and, sa- and trusting yes isn't that it <laughs> yeah and that's- instead of saying oh it's my imagination how many times do you do that oh I must have imagined oh that's my imagination just no say yes and then you know this is what I tell uh, my students is it's all happening in the same place anyway the yeah. imaginal mind the tool it's like yes you can remember you can ha- recall memories and that, but that's, it's just, to me, it's like the wheel turning the other way, yep. but it's the same mechanism. Yes. And so recalling memories or creating images is one way that the wheel turns. And then if you say yes to it, then it starts to turn the other way. Like with that story of my great grandmother guide. Yes. If I hadn't recorded her name and said, yes, that's her name. It's not like a, you know, fantastical Celtic sounding, you know, <laughs> ancient name or something. It's just like a regular it's name. Little mama. <laughs> <laughs> little mama yeah I said yes to little mama when That's I was right little. you gotta say yes <laughs> so I said yeah I mean the name she gave me was Lee Lelia Le- Layla all these different names which ended up being all of the names that were on her census records oh many wow different ways because they always you know they were recording it by hand yeah yeah but I was calling her Lee you know it's not very it's not very mystical yeah but I said yes to it and it ended up being very evidential and so it is about this is where spirit spirit meets us. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. we don't have things forced upon us. Our will is absolutely free. So that's why we have to agree to it. Yeah. And it's like, uh, you know, imagine your imagine your grandfather or cousin or mother or someone, you know, they make all this effort to come out and, <laughs> and give you a chill or, you know, give you a little give you a little brush. You know, they're using all that energy to come by and be like, hey, honey, hey, and you go, oh. Must have been my imagination. And they're like, I just did all that work for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I got to go recollect. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, let exactly. me recharge. Right. <laughs> That's the other thing, too, is I tell clients who are practicing mediumship or, you know, even if it's not specifically mediumship, whatever kind of intuitive, mm-hmm. I tell them it's a, it's a conversation. So, yes. you know, you're, yes. you're connecting with. So you can say, give me something else. Or what is that? Can you make that clearer? Can you give that a little more can you enhance it more so if it was a brush on the arm and you're like was that the breeze or was that grandma you know you can yes. just ask for a little more mm-hmm. it may take a little time yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's uh you know a lot of people especially when they're doing the work I always call it the intravenous drip mm-hmm. so mediums who are starting out and starting to do it and they'll kind of have that connection and then they have that pause and they're like where well, they're not giving me anything and I, I call it the intravenous drip like mm-hmm. you're waiting and I said it's a two-way street it's yeah. a two way conversation yeah. you know just think of yourself at a coffee shop you know and engage engage with that spirit be curious about that spirit yeah. and you're going to get so much more information and and yeah. just you know we call it information but how lucky are you that you get to uh meet someone's personality or feel the love that they have for the sitter or yeah. um share a memory that you go Ooh, Ooh, look at that. You know, it's <laughs> it's a lot of fun to be a participant in that beautiful experience of spirit and, and the physical realm. Yes. What, what would you suggest to someone who is listening today and is like, 
well, maybe it, maybe my imaginary friends were really, spe- and maybe it is an indication of abilities, or just I'm interested in it. You know, by the way, I like to tell people too, just because you didn't you didn't have psychic phenomenon when you were a child does not mean you're not gifted. You know, as we're saying, oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's and there's certain things I I, I or believe, you may have forgotten them too. You know, I honestly. believe we're all born. Uh, definitely. I mean, we're all intuitive and mm-hmm. we're all born, I, I believe, with the ability to connect to the spirit world. Mm-hmm. It's just that as we get in society and mm-hmm. as we get around people and people say to us, oh, it's just your imagination. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's just a bad dream. You know, we start to not trust the connection. So it mm-hmm. starts to kind of go away. Mm-hmm. And then something later in life, whether it's a trauma or an experience, a near death experience um, or just an awakening sometimes a really bad breakup can mm-hmm. absolutely open it up because you know you're that that kind of shock to the system yeah so absolutely uh people can open it and even if you you know and the other thing i always say every th- this doesn't have to be your path of profession right it, if it's a hobby mm-hmm. how can this is a wonderful fun hobby <laughs> it's a pretty good i one, mean yeah. like A, you get to talk to dead people. You have all the imaginary friends you want. You're never really lonely. And you get to play with crystals. So it's pretty cool. (laughs) Well, and that inner inner guidance, that's so important. That is what people, and they're searching for themselves. Yes. That disconnection. Yeah. It satisfies that, being able to connect to perfect love and have that font Mm -hmm. just open to you. Yes. And it is, uh, I get, I do, uh, it is hard sometimes, though, because I have a really... I call it the compass. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have a really, really strong compass, strong Scooby sense. And <laughs> and something will happen. And I will just know, like, I'll take care of something and I'll just know what's going to happen three steps down. Sure. And, and then you try to dismiss it because you can't control everything. And darn it, if it doesn't happen and you're like, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it's, being in alignment, you know. Just no, it always is. It's, being close, you know, reading the energy. You're, you're proximate to it. It's it's in the offing because yes. there, you know what I mean. It, it's not not that it's predestined, but when it's in the offing, it's in the offing, and you already you can already it, sense it. It is. It is what it is. But um, but I, you know, I always like I said, you know, I have a big smile on my face because it's. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Mm-hmm. I I love the relationship that I have with spirit, mm-hmm. and I I love uh, that. They're always pushing me too. always like, mm-hmm. you know, how can you be stronger? How can you get better? How can you tune in? Because there's just no there, right? We It's, it's a continuous uh, profession of development. Yes, that's so true. Uh, I just recently got, well, I went to <laughs> two kinds of plateaus happened to me. One was I was starting a new training program. And the first like week, all of the students I was collaborating with my friend, Crystal and Compton. And the first week, all the students were like, oh, my gosh, so much information. And and, and I was like a little bit jealous. I was like, I wish I were in a program where it seemed like so much information. Yeah. And I was like, oh, did I just do a Nebuchadnezzar thing? Like I got a little <laughs> bit mightier than God. So, OK, I don't need it to be too big. <laughs> I don't want my mind too blown. <laughs> so that was there for a second. And then, you know, yeah, I felt my guide saying like, oh, well, no worries. We got it. We got plenty more for you. Yeah. And then after a little bit, because I was like, OK, yeah, I want to develop more you know what I mean like I I feel like I just plateaued and then the next thing the next thing I felt that I the next benchmark was like I know nothing there's an I'm 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 yeah I know nothing at all yeah which is actually kind of an exciting place to be well there's a moment of skepticism and fear and all that always kind of stuff. and it's just this um and what I find too just for anyone out there you know when you feel a plateau in no matter what you're doing yes. I mean listen you could feel like you're ready for the next level yeah. at the office job and it's not yeah. coming and you feel frustrated or and I have this thing where I will just go for a hike oh yes and mm-hmm. I think it's that combination of you know not that it's full on meditation but it's a meditative it's a moving meditation feeling mm-hmm. and you've got the nature mm-hmm. and you're able to kind of let go of that mind chatter a bit mm-hmm. and there's just something about that that just kind of helps nudge nudge me through yes. so connecting to the multidimensionality of of Gaia of Earth, yeah, and, and especially when you want to manifest, because Gaia is manifestation. Oh yeah, Gaia is abundance. So when you're able to move in that way and connect with the spirit of Gaia and yeah. her, you know, not just it's not just grounding; it's also ascending. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely, yeah. So it's um, it's fun. I'll tell you, it's, it's always it's a it's a 
it's a work, but a different kind of work. Yes, absolutely. It's a, a labor of love. <laughs> it, it is. Uh, yeah, it is. Well, so I want to tell everyone, I haven't mentioned it yet, we are taking calls, 323-524-2599. I see we have a couple callers at least. So, But before we do, I just want to mention your amazing book. Uh, would you please talk about Leap of Faith? Ah, yeah, this is, look, I brought a copy. I know. That's <laughs> great. So what happened is when I was leaving the tax world, um, I knew I was leaving, and there was a wealth of knowledge that I had obtained over 14 years of experience mm -hmm. and working with just thousands of really multi-million dollar companies in all areas because it was a public tax taxation firm and I did tax returns like crazy so I took all of that and it hadn't been done before but I took the tax stuff what can you itemize what can you deduct how's the accounting work what kind of entities are there uh, not spirit not entities kind of <laughs> uh, corporate legal entities and and some of those can be a bit uh, tricky yeah <laughs> just like and the just tricky to entities. understand it and so I wrote this book on you know a accepting your gift or understanding the business basics mm -hmm. how to work on your social platform social media and a newsletter or uh, creating your logo your website that I what I wanted to do and and I really do feel like there's been a shift and a change oh, is bring a level of professionalism to this industry because, you know, it really wasn't as well respected as, say, a lawyer or a doctor. Mm -hmm. And that really upset me because I really feel like it can be. Yes. And but it, it takes us as the light workers, as a community to step up and do better photos, do better websites, have a better platform, um, and handle it in the same way that going to the doctor does. We commit to our appointments and show up. So the book really was that endeavor to kind of share that knowledge I had uh, about the tax, mm -hmm. um, but also help anyone who's out there like find their way. Because, you know, most people who are doing this, uh, they are not accountants by profession. Um, <laughs> right. they're, they're, they're creative. Creative, yes. And so just to kind of say, all right, listen, you you creative love bug being, here, <laughs> here's some... Some structure, too. Here's some... Because it's very... I think... I always say to people, if we can build a strong foundation, mm -hmm. you can build any empire on top of it. Oh, yes. I, I'm really lucky with... You know, I'm, I'm, I can get so airy-fairy and up in the conceptual realm and then... You know, all in the fields, all up in the, the big fields, and then I'll bring it to my husband, who's a bit more linear. I mean, he's a guy. You yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah. And he'll be like, but what does that look like? And he's like asking me to make it something yeah. that is more, you know, linear. And that, that's the manifestation process. Yes. It isn't against, it isn't non-spiritual to be structured at all. No. No, no. And, and I think it's quite the opposite, mm -hmm. because if you have the structure, then you actually have more freedom. Yes. And yes. that gives you more uh, ability to create whatever you want to create mm -hmm. within that structure. Oh, yes. And it also gives you motivation. Yes. You know, otherwise you do. You are just up in the fields and it feels like I mean, it's um, when it feels amorphous. You yes. just don't know how to move forward. Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. again, some people because it's not there's not a lot out there to show us, hey, this is where you can go. This is what you can do. This is how you do it. There, there does need that other side, that other element to say okay uh you can have a center or mm -hmm. you can travel and do this or you can teach others or you can ha be professional or again this could be a beautiful hobby of yours mm -hmm. in any way you want to see it well thank you so much for writing that book again it's called leap of faith how to build your spiritual business oh, it was by colby rebel it was painful just <laughs> right <laughs> i would <laughs> you're like look at this guy I how did was, it hurt me so much <laughs> you know I th because it was so technical oh sure. you know i mean mm. like a lot of books we write can be just fun and i mean and again it was fun but because there was so much technical stuff and legal yeah. stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> write a book about butterflies but, next but, time. Yeah, but good thing you squeeze that one out of me, spirit. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have some major negotiations <laughs> next go around. <laughs> well, thank you again. <laughs> well, how about let's take a call? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I would love to. Let's see. I don't hear anyone yet. And there you are. You're on the air. Who's this? Hello? Hello. Who is this? 
Hi, my name is Ann. Ann, hi Ann. Is that with an E or hi. just two I, N's? Yes, yeah, with the E. Oh, okay, great. How are you? What's on your mind today, Ann? I don't know. I just tuned in. I don't really know what this is. Um, I just tuned in and called in and just listening. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. You're not sure what 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 uh, what in your heart made you want to go ahead and call in? Can you feel into that? Um, you want to? I mean, I wanted to like kind of learn and um, I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not sure if this what kind of uh, line this is. Is it? Like a business line or a spiritual line? Well, actually, it's both because Please Colby Rebel is <laughs> a spiritual business expert. So, <laughs> yes, this. Are, oh. Yeah, are you are you an in, uh, interested in developing your intuition? Well, I do. I do have an intuition right now. Mm -hmm. um, I just I just can't. I'm not sure on how to hone in into it on myself, but I can hone in into it. For others, but well, Ian, I myself is hard. You know, Ian, I will tell you, honey, uh, that's actually very, very normal. Mm -hmm. It's very common. Um, mm -hmm. So you being able to tune in to other people, do you also feel a bit psychic where you're getting those hits of information about someone or you know something's going to happen and then it does? Yeah. 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 So what happens mm -hmm. is, you know, you may not see your whole future, right? So using that ESP, mm -hmm. using that psychic ability, you know, it is a gift. It is not meant to self-serve. It is just meant to serve. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with your, oh. yeah, but with yourself, you can work on the intuition. I call it the compass. Um, and that is, you know, kind of if you take your hand and you put it right above your belly button, the palm of your hand, that, okay. that is your clairsentient, okay? And what I teach okay. students to do is to think of a round dial with a line down the middle right there, right where that palm is, and then you tilt it. Mm -hmm. One side will mean yes, the other side will mean no. And you just establish what side is your yes, and it will always be your yes side, and what side will be your no. Wow. And yeah. yeah, that's a great tool. Yeah, and so what you can do, mm. yeah, you what you can do is uh, start to establish so that when you have a question for yourself, um, you know, should I take this job? Yes, no, yes, no. Like you can really start to develop your own intuition for you using the compass. Mm. That's wonderful that's tip for, for yeah. everyone, <laughs> for everyone yeah, listening. Me, <laughs> that gut feeling you can actually Ooh. you can actually give it some structure you can <laughs> that's what you're doing yeah you you can but then it just takes it out of it really allows you to start trusting it and in you know have you thought about taking a, a, a class a, around you i don't know what area you're in but is there an opportunity to join like a circle or a group where you can play a little bit yeah i've been i've been looking into that Good. I'm, I'm actually trying to decide where to move and i'm having a very hard time. Mm, okay. Trying to decide what it means. So I've been, you know, I just feel like my path has a certain destiny to it, and I'm very afraid on uh, which move to make. If I move to a different state and attend school, is it going to be take me off my path? I always worry about those that thing, and that's been throwing me off lately. Well, it is about trusting yourself. Um, mm -hmm. I do believe it's about trusting yourself. But if, if you would like for me to tune in, I, I do feel like you're moving. And I feel like it's in another state unless 712 is in the state of Texas. Have you thought about moving to Texas or somewhere like that, Am? Um, I've actually thought about uh, moving to uh, North Carolina. North Carolina? I, I have, um yeah. Yeah. Cause... I'm originally from New York. Okay. And I um I need to finish school. I have in state tuition up in, you know, in the north, but I also um gained it in um North Carolina and I've been trying to figure out if I should just stay home, go there or go to school in North Carolina where I feel like I'm more happy. Well North I don't want to 
North Carolina mm-hmm. definitely is, you know, such a it has so many spiritual areas in North Carolina yes, and I that nature that. and mm-hmm. the trees. So, you know, don't let the fear get in your way, Anne. You you know, okay. let me just tell you, spirit and your path and your gifts, uh, they're not determined on what state you're living in. All right. They're going to follow you. They're going to spirit's going to keep opening up that path as long as you're following your heart, following Mm -hmm. where you feel you should be. And if you feel happier in North Carolina, that really is your answer. Mm. That's wonderful advice. I completely agree. And I think you so much. You're You're welcome. (laughs) As soon as you just go ahead and release that fear. It doesn't even take any time. If you can just follow, all you have to do is not look at it and just look at the love and the excitement, that feeling of excitement and joy. That's actually you aligning with your higher self. That's what it feels like to align with the higher self is that resonance of excitement. So you think about North Carolina and that feels good. Yeah. 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 Good. Well, thank you so much for calling today. It was really nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, lovely people, too. Thank you for helping me. I didn't realize how much I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> you you know Thanks. exactly what you need to know in this moment, okay, Ann? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. You have a beautiful day, honey. Okay. Likewise. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Thank you. I like how you basically took that clairsentience and made it into a personal pendulum. That's so great. Yeah, a, it works <laughs> so well. And yeah. and so just to take it, just to kind of help anybody who does want to practice it. So mm-hmm. the way I tell people to, to establish what side is yes and no is I say, ask yourself one fact. What is mm-hmm. one fact? Mm-hmm. Uh, my name is Colby. And it will tilt to one side or the other side. And then I'll ask another fact. I don't mm-hmm. have to think about it. I know this is true. And it will tilt. You'll feel mm-hmm. it. And And when I do that, that will establish the side. And then I'll say an absolute lie, something I know. And you'll feel it. It will go the other way. You know, it's interesting as, you know, for me, my clairsentience, it's, it's, I don't know, it's the texture of the energy. It's usually like, it's a sick feeling or it's a happy feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But as I try your technique right now, it actually does two things. It will, I'm not going to say, because I don't want to suggest to someone else. So it'll either go left or right for a certain one. But it also sometimes goes forward or backward. But it's the same. Like for yes, it goes, I'm just for example, it goes to the right or it goes forward. Right. Yeah, that's interesting. So may, or maybe for someone else, it could go up or down. Yeah, that, it does. I, I yeah. just try to keep it simple for them sure, so sure. that they're like, it, it, otherwise they'll be like, well, if I give, if you give them too Almost much. fear. <laughs> yeah, if you give them too much, like Put it could world. be a color or a word, or, you know, it will overwhelm them. So I just say, totally. hey, boom, 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 boom. And yeah. it just lets them, then they can develop how, how it feels. But I know yeah. that feeling of like, I know when something doesn't feel right, it like it kind of dips down. I'm yeah. like, ooh, yeah, ooh. <laughs> sickness. Yeah, you're like, almost. don't do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of almost like the edge of fear, just like apprehension. Yeah, yeah. And and the thing is, is that fear. You know, fear is so common, and we really do give it a lot of power. Mm-hmm. And you know, one of the things that drives me crazy is when someone says, "I'll just be fearless." And it's like, well, that's impossible. Right. Um, that's really impossible. Right. But what you can be is courageous. Mm-hmm. So you and can curious and curious and, and mm-hmm. work through the fear and the fear in that area will start to diminish and it will just go to another area as you grow. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it just I, I think if part of our experience of surrendering and trusting. Mm-hmm. That's one. And do we have another call, jo- uh, Jarvis? All right. Let's take another caller. OK. And any moment now, we will hear that line open up. Hello, you're on the air. Who's this? Hi there. Who's this? Hello. Yeah, you're on the air. Who's this? Hi. This is Bernice. Hi, Bernice. We're on with Colby. How are you today? What's on your mind? Hi, I'm doing great. I'm calling... Oh, our connection's a little weird. Yeah. Why don't we put Bernice on hold? And Bernice, hang on. We'll see if we can get back to you and see if the, the line is cleared up a little bit. But um, we do hope we can connect with you. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, it actually sounds a little better. Let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> don't put her on hold yet, Jarvis. All right. Try it again, Bernice. That sounds much better. Great. I think it was because I was on speaker and I was trying to listen to you guys on Facebook as well. So oh, okay. That was probably a little too much connection. <laughs> Hi, Bernice. Hi, how are you guys doing? 
Wonderful. What's on your mind today, Bernice? Well, let's see. Um, lots of questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll start off with, let's see, meditation. I've kind of already believe I got a little breakthrough where um, I didn't know if I was meditating correctly. And just yesterday, I felt something that I would never felt um, while meditating, which was very, very, very exciting to me. I felt numb. I started feeling numb. I couldn't feel my nose. Um, I felt very warm sensation, um, no fear, but it was just very strange. Mm. And yeah, it was, it was, it was very, actually very exciting. And there was this sound, um, kind of like a helicopter sound. It was very steady, not super loud, but I could hear it as I was coming out of meditation. Interesting. And mm -hmm. yeah, so I mean, that was really, really, really exciting for me. Like I said, every time I meditate, I'm just kind of like guessing, like, yeah, I kind of did it right. Or, you know, I kind of feel when I do hit that maybe one to two minutes of meditation out of the 30, um, I feel at peace. I feel energized. I feel clear. So I tell myself, you did something right. You know, you, you hit that spot. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. But, cool. um, Colby, do you yeah, have any? Just yesterday, you know, it was just that one boom out of kind of body experience. Yep, yep. That's what I was going to actually tell you is that that helicopter sound is often associated or sometimes people describe it as a train sound, that that is, just, that is associated <laughs> when people are going to go out of the body and they're, they're aligning more and identifying more with the astral body. And it's a beautiful thing. Now, I know that a lot of people, if you're listening, you've never experienced that. You're like, out of body experience. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, you're going crazy. But no, it's just, it's just identifying <laughs> with the spirit side of yourself so that's actually when you say the helicopter sound you were really deeply identifying to astral and that's a good thing yeah and I would Yay! say <laughs> you know Bernice I would say I, I would really let go of this pressure you're putting on yourself of doing it right yeah. uh, is th there's no right way to meditate. Let me just <laughs> tell you, you can go out and plant a garden and be in the highest level of meditation. Mm -hmm. So if, if you just let go of it being right and just say, hey, I'm just going to enjoy this journey and surrender to it. Uh, I believe that you're going to see so many things open up, maybe more colors, more visions coming in, um, and, and that tingling maybe even more over. But when we try to perfect something, when we're so in our head, because automatically that's going to put you in your head. Mm -hmm. And then when you're in your head, it's like, it's so hard to get back up there. So <laughs> it's like an anchor. So I would just let go of putting that pressure on yourself of, of feeling whether or not you're, you're grading yourself, you mm -hmm. know, try not to grade yourself on your meditation. <laughs> that's a very good point. I, I get that you're okay. very, that you're highly empathic and that's actually really normal for very empathic people. You know, you are a young person and you can ha you feel everything. So you just want to be a good girl. So you're always trying to follow instructions and, you know, just be the, be the good girl. And so I, I think that that's yeah. something you can look at. I also got that it would be really good. Are you already starting to work with Oracle cards? No, I haven't. Okay. I have not yet. Well, you have I'm a... fairly new to all of this. Oh, um, well, actually, Oracle you know, cards the, are really... To the lab and meditating and everything, I would say no more than two months. Okay. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, you have... Uh, there is a... A feminine uh, female uh, guide that is showing herself. She's very, very bright. She says, you feel me, and you're shy to give her a name or to connect with her name. But she does want you to start playing around with Oracle cards just for yourself because you're going to then have more – you're going to have like this – hard evidence of your intuition because you're going to do it just for yourself and it's going to show up for you. It's an excellent tool for a beginner. Don't you agree, Colby? Oh, I think cards are a lot of fun, whether mm -hmm. they're angel, oracle, mm -hmm. whatever works for, whatever totally. someone resonates with. But yeah, cards are really, they're fun. Just don't let it, just don't make it a, a, a crutch. Totally. Yeah. yeah, but they're really fun to play with and okay. enlighten. And, and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and Bernice, I'll just say really quick, you have a grandmother in spirit. Am I right? Because I, I keep hearing a grandmother for you and I keep hearing she's got the gifts too. So did you, did you, do you know your grandmother, the one in spirit that also has gifts as well? 
on the father's side, I think. Um, right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is my, my grandmother's on my dad's side. Okay. And I do believe um, the gift runs in both sides of my family. Um, they, they're they both very intuitive on both sides. Of, well, I feel that mm-hmm. yeah. strong um, root mm-hmm. yeah. on both sides of my family. But yes, my dad's um, grandmother, my I mean, my dad's mom, my grandmother is, is past, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I just keep seeing I've and I feel like it's some old school stuff like tea leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. She's like a tea leaf person. <laughs> and was there a Catholic was there Catholicism in your background? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I got some of the Catholicism and so with that is to release the the dogma part of it, the limiting part of it, but you can embrace the mystical part of it. Catholicism is a very sensual kind of religion, very mystical in a lot of ways. And so you can just enhance the part that is in your lineage that is that mystical mm-hmm. and an unbounded kind of experience. So um that I that one that I'm feeling that actually oh, that you mentioned that Catholicism mm-hmm. um I'm starting to kind of drift, not away, definitely not away from the religion, but pick and choose what feels good with me and resonates with me deep in my soul. And the rest that doesn't, I'm kind of just like dusting it, you know, off, kind of perfect, uh, like cleaning the religion more or less in in respect to how I feel. She's saging it. it. She's saging the religion. Do that. Yeah, (laughs) I like it. That's perfect. (laughs) And that's really, that is the, well, you just found the secret of life. That's really what we want to do with everything is to keep what resonates. And even with your connection with spirit, you know, Mm -hmm. hold on to what resonates with you and release what doesn't. Mm -hmm. Because it could always make sense later. You know what I mean? We don't have to try to make anything fit. And even just, you know, how I used to work, I I change, we evolve, you you know, you develop, you develop, Bernice. So make sure, like we said to Ann, make sure you're taking classes. Get into the development, you know, build build it because, you know, it will really start to unwrap itself quite quickly. Yes. Well, congratulations on all of that amazing mystical stuff, all of that wonderful work that you're doing straight away. Your talent is wide open. Your heart is wide open. Only two months of beginning to practice. That's wonderful. Just go with it. Yes. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you so much for calling in, Bernice. Thank you I just you love so your energy. Much. I just Thank love your energy. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, you know, she's, you know, you love it, but, you know, sometimes the, the in the beginning phases, you know, and I remember it too, like, okay, am I breathing? <laughs> Breathe. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Like, um, am I sitting in the right position because my leg is kind of crossed? Is that okay? Uh-huh. Am I all right? Like, yeah. you know, we get, we, we want to do it such justice and yeah. have that experience, but really it is just about being light with it and going Mm -hmm. with it and enjoying enjoying the dance with it it's already there for us absolutely well you just think about it if 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 god if spirit is the perfect parent then all the perfect parent wants is for you to develop all of your to be happy to be happy (laughs) exactly so oh just be happy do the things that make me feel happy yeah why is it so hard for us yeah (laughs) it's like think of it right oh as long as you're happy that's good (laughs) exactly yeah (laughs) well i think we have time for maybe one more caller Okay. There we are. Hello, you're on the air. Who's this? This is Heather. Hi, Heather. We're on with Colby. How are you? What's on your mind? Good. Um, It was interesting because the the other people that you talked to, they actually brought up things that kind of resonated with me. That's how spirit works. (laughs) um, A major question I... What? I said that's how spirit works. Sorry, go ahead. There's overlap. (laughs) Yeah. Sorry, there's a delay. Yeah. Um, but one thing that was on my mind is, um, do you see any spirit guides around me? I see because a ton. Because I have tried to kind of meditate. <laughs> yeah. I see a ton. Co- with them, and I... Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, first of all, we I, all have spirit guides. Nobody is nobody is without their spirit team, their spirit family. Mm-hmm. But I see many close to you that are right there, and it's just you basically turning around and looking at them. What do you see, Colby? I don't tune into uh, – I don't read people's spirit guides, um, but I will see a loved one by you that is a guide. So – because I look at spirit guides as two different. We can have our loved ones that have passed that will guide us, 
or we can have spirit guides um, from the ascended masters, the angel, mm-hmm. all of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm tuning more into more the physical realm of someone who's passed over. And it, again, it makes me feel like this is a very strong mother figure for you, like a strong mother, grandmother for you. Um, but this feels like it's on mom's side. So Heather, would mom's mom be in the spirit world? Would you understand that? No, my grandmother is on my mom's side is still here. Do you understand the grandmother or she could be the great grandmother, right. but do you understand the, the woman who feels a little more structured to say uh, that word structure is coming <laughs> up, but I feel like she feels structured and very habit oriented because I feel like she stands right by you, but it's to give you strength and opening up your gifts. So it feels like you've been working on your gifts as well as same as Anne and Bernice, but I feel like this lady is there mm-hmm. almost to kind of stand right by you. But it's a backbone for you. So she had to have been a little strong, this lady. That's what I keep getting because she, she's very precise. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That sounds like it could be my great-grandmother who I don't remember much about. Okay. But I, I kind of get the impression that she was maybe kind of rigid. Yeah. Maybe not as, like, motherly as some We're, other yeah, <laughs> but she's grandmas may have been. Really good there. You know, it's almost like she's... Um, Sometimes we call them gatekeepers. Oh, sure, yeah. You know, um, that my gatekeeper is like that, and it, she actually goes by Senora, and I don't have a relationship with her. She's like, I'm busy. Yeah, and you, no, just I'm doing my job. But yeah. we, don't, we don't. We're not going to feel and love and chat. Yeah. It's, <laughs> so a gatekeeper, yeah. uh, Heather, a gatekeeper is used to to kind of protect you, right? To make sure that kind of the love and light of spirit comes mm-hmm. through, and and not the negative side, right? And I feel like this okay. lady stands right there, and she's like. Well, you can talk to her, but only if you get through me first. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's a good, strong okay. gatekeeper. Mm-hmm. And uh, I did. Now I'm picking up. This is actually I can't tell if this is a relative. The energy feels like uncle, but it could be a friend or a friend of the family. And but it is something on the father's side. So it could have been an, an actual uncle, but it's someone who is. Because the, the way I see it uh, when I, is I see when they're next to you and just above, it's kind of like a family tree. And so that's what I see. But this person had okay. some yeah. trouble. It, it seems like maybe with addiction or something of that kind. And it may not have been literally substance. It could have been behavioral. And it seems like there was a car accident okay. that was pretty devastating. But this person is, or this spirit, I should say, is actually with you because he is He's going to be with you for a while. He's been actually in spirit for a, a good amount of time. And he wants to help you to move through some self-doubt yeah. because that's what he had to overcome when he was on the spirit side because he had a kind of hard life and some things that he blamed himself for. So when he went through his healing, he released it and, and he's working with that. And he's like, literally, I will take out the trash. Some of that self-doubt, you can look at it and say, it's time to throw this out. It's not that we ignore it and repress it, but we can look at it and say, help me with this and help me to understand the message behind it and what I'm, what I'm growing through. That's another guide that I picked okay. up on. <laughs> I don't know if that helps you at all. Okay. But um, keep Interesting. At it. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. Yeah. And it may, be, it may be a friend of the family. I'm not really sure. But it is someone attached to dad's okay. side. So, well, thank you so much for calling, okay. Heather. Really nice to connect with you. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. Oh. And, and just trust your, I mean, obviously hey. your guys at all levels are with mm-hmm. you. So just trust that they're with you. And just start talking to them and look for the signs and symbols around. You know, set it up and then look mm-hmm. for it in the physical. Because you'll get them. And say yes to it. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Well, we are just about out of time. So I know, huh? Some final thoughts you want to give to the audience, and if you want to tell everyone again how they can get in touch with you and the work that you're doing that they could engage in with you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So if you want to reach out, my website's colbyrebel.com. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and that's at Psychic Rebel. And, uh, yeah, I, I look forward. I'm very social. I do coffee with Colby every morning at 10 a.m. So every morning? That's wonderful. Monday through Friday. And uh, at 10 a.m., it's just a little inspirational talk. A little, we, we just get together, have a cup of coffee, have a little chat, and then you get on with your day. And how, where do you, where do, you, do, you do it live? I or? do it li- live on Facebook. Yeah, on my Perfect. Facebook page. So just look for that black jacket. Look for Colby Rebel and, and, and like it and follow, and, and we'll all hang out. But thank you. Of course, and all of you spiritual entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, pick up 
Colby's book, Leap of Faith, How to Build Your Spiritual Business. I, I mean, I'm, I'm digging into this right away. <laughs> I, I, even if you, I would say any level of your spiritual entrepreneurship, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, you, you're going to get so. I mean, oh my trust gosh, yeah. me. I mean, unless you were an accountant and a marketing person, you're going to get something out of it. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> Am not. <laughs> what a great show. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, I really loved it. And thank oh, you for too. having me. Oh, I mean, beautiful, God. beautiful and, and wonderful callers. I mean, really very, very uh, genuine heart-centered people. And it's beautiful that you're creating the energy and environment and helping others hone their gifts as well. Thank you. And you as well. Don't forget about Colby's show on Thursdays at 5 p.m. You can call in, 5 p.m. Pacific. You can call in and you do do readings a lot, right? Yeah, we do it quite often, yes. That's wonderful. Well, thank you again, Colby Rebel. It's such an honor to have you on the show. Thank you, Trisha. And thank you for joining me today. Again, my website is trishacarcharm.com and do check out my Empowered Empath Highly sensitive intuitive program that is in the registration process at this time please go to my youtube channel that's youtube.com slash trisha carr subscribe like share comment that joins your light and that jo- that raises the vibration of the planet when we join together that way subscribe or review my podcast version of the show which you can find by just searching charmed life with trisha carr on any of your podcast out podcast outlet that you use it's on itunes it's on uh, spotify iheart radio and um, on all of those outlets by the the way I actually have special different kinds of special episodes you know for the requisite ones and I am starting a Patreon page so if you would like to support the show and any of the work that I do find me on Patreon just by searching Trisha Carr well I will see you again next week if you want to join me live at 11 a.m pacific and I thank you for tuning in I love you whoever you are <laughs> <laughs>